Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was just getting ready for the day, putting on some light, almost like a no makeup makeup look. And while I was doing my skincare, I thought I will talk you through some of the new additions to my routine. I've been getting a lot of questions about the Estee Lauder ANR, the new one, ever since I posted about it on my Instagram. So I'm going to talk in detail about uh, this serum and why it's so special. So I've been using the ANR the last few years and I've noticed always that my skin is in really good shape when I'm using the ANR in my routine. So to give you a little bit of history about this serum and why this is so iconic for the brand and in general in skincare, in 1982 Night Repair was first launched and it was the first serum ever to be created. It was also the first product ever to use hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid works like a magnet for water molecules. It draws water into your skin and instantly gives you a more hydrated, plump and smoother look. Just like the rest of our body, our skin also has a natural clock. So when we sleep at night, there's a certain time when our skin repairs itself and this repair activity is at its peak. During the day, we are exposed to a lot of environmental aggressors in terms of pollution, um, sometimes lack of sleep, late night blue light exposure. Uh, so in the day, it's important to protect your skin and in the night, it's important to aid that repair process of the skin. It's also interesting to note that only 25% of aging is determined by natural factors like your genes. The rest, 75% is completely in your hands and how you take care of your skin and your lifestyle in general. In the past, the ANR has helped my skin be more hydrated. It has uh, minimized some of the early signs of aging and it has also just helped my skin maintain its glow and radiance. Now, the new ANR has three new benefits. It has pore minimizing benefits. It helps with firming the skin and with giving you overnight radiance. With the new ANR, they've also reimagined the bottle. This is now in a recyclable glass packaging with this really nice gradient that gives it like a lit from within look. Ever since I got the new bottle, I have been using it both in the daytime as well as the evening. Now, because this is oil free, it's a really lightweight serum that sinks into the skin really nicely. I use it in the day as well. So I first apply it like in this heart shape and then um, again in a larger heart shape where you're targeting your forehead as well. And whatever is left on my hands, I'm just going to use it on the neck and on the back of my hand. And this is just a little trick I started um, using a few years back because I had read how aging starts with the neck with the eye area and the back of the hand so I always use whatever little bit is left on my uh, palms and my fingers on the back of my hand as well. So my skin tends to be uh, very easily dehydrated and I love how quickly this sinks in. It doesn't um, leave any greasy finish so even if you have got oily skin you can um, use this. The consistency is compatible with all skin types. This contains peptides, ferments, antioxidants and hyaluronic acid that we spoke about. Ferments are really important in helping the skin microbiome and peptides are basically proteins that help uh, give a bit of anti-aging benefit to your skin. The Advanced Night Repair is free from parabens, phthalates, sulfites, sulfates and and mineral oil. One of the questions I often get is I'm already using a moisturizer. Um, do I need a serum? What's the difference between a serum and a moisturizer? Serums are more targeted treatments. They also penetrate deeper into the skin layers. So anytime you want uh, a more long lasting benefits or you're targeting any particular deep seated skin concerns, serums will be a lot more effective versus moisturizers. Another question I often get is do 
I need to start using serums by a certain age? Uh, you can use serums at any age provided what the ingredients are and what it targets. For me, I've been using um, some form of serum in my routine from my mid 20s and now as I'm in my 30s I'm starting to include um, a gentle anti-aging one like the advanced night repair which works really nicely for me the one thing I want to um, just stress upon is always use a moisturizer after using this serum the way hyaluronic acid works is it draws water it attracts water so if you're not using a moisturizer right over the serum it's actually going to draw moisture from your skin itself that's why you want to give it an available source of water for it to actually work uh, really well now for those of you who are interested i'm also sharing the full ingredient list of uh, the new advanced night repair on the screen here uh, if you'd like to study it you can just uh, pause the video have a look or i'm also going to list this in the description box so now that i have done my serum and my moisturizer my skin feels really nice sort of instantly smooth hydrated and this is what your skincare should do for you of course there are the long-term benefits but right after using it you should see an increase in the level of hydration and just um, how your skin feels so i'm going to put on my sunscreen and then i'm going to show you like a quick no makeup makeup uh, routine that i do on days when i'm not doing a particular look so i'm going to start with concealer now when my skin is feeling good i realize that i need um, not a lot of base so I'm able to just sort of place the concealer in certain areas where I have either discoloration or some pigmentation or in this case like a few uh, spots left behind from breakouts and this way by only concealing like certain areas where you need it your skin and your base overall just looks a lot fresher and it doesn't look like you know you're wearing a lot of makeup now the under eyes are the most important one for me because i look like super tired if i haven't um, concealed here you can see such a massive difference right away now most indian women have some uh, darkness around the mouth nose and under the eyes it's very natural and normal for anyone with medium and deeper complexions to have this next i'm going to fill my brows i've noticed that um, brows give like an instant lift to your face so i am quite lucky to have naturally quite thick brows but i do like to fill them just a little bit more so they look just a little more um, voluminous so there's not like a massive difference but you can see there's just like a gentle lift once I fill in my eyebrows now brows done I'm now going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara more than liner I find mascara more transformative for my face personally but of course everyone's facial features and preferences are different so if you're someone who likes to do a kajal on an everyday basis you can you know do that if you're someone who likes a liner just go with whatever you feel makes you feel a little more put together for me like curling my lashes just lifts them up i'm gonna go back in and give another little push to these just going to add some mascara one which will just give me some nice uh definition and darkness but nothing too dramatic i'm not going to do my bottom lashes just the top lashes for today and then to finish off and add a little bit of color to my face i'm going to use a bit of a lip tint and what i'm going to do is going to take it a little bit to my cheeks as well and to identify where you need to place it find the top of your brow come down to the center of your cheek and just place it right there and then you can just use your fingers to blend now my skin is not particularly oily so and i like a very dewy look so i'm not setting things with powder here but if you're someone who's got oily skin or just a super oily t-zone 
feel free to just set this area with powder so your face doesn't get greasy. I almost forgot to mention that the ANR also works really well with makeup just because of the consistency. Um, sometimes I just like to do this in the end. And I've not taken much, this is just one drop of product. And this just gives me like a bit of a highlight without any shimmer, without any makeup. So this is just something you can also try with um, your serum. And whatever is left, I'm going to just use it on my nose. And any areas where you tend to get patches of dehydration or dryness after your base, you can also just tap a little bit of serum over there. So that is my super simple and quick uh, no makeup makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed this chatty video. I hope this gave you a little more information about the new Estee Lauder ANR. I'm going to put the links to buy it. They've got lots of different sizes and because this is an expensive product, I would recommend trying out a small size first just to see how um, it behaves with your skin. So I'm going to put all that information in the description box below and that's all for today thank you so much for watching i will see you soon in my next video bye